Waking up to a much different picture than we did yesterday morning. The sun is shining. Let's bring in first alert meteorologist Eric Garlick. Hopefully that sunshine is going to help people who are beginning the long road of rebuilding and recovering. Today. Uh, unfortunately, still dealing with water levels that are going to rise as we go through the uh, day today before peaking and finally receding. Uh, we've had almost 30 inches of rain in parts of the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, and that's all got to come wow. down through the Catawba watershed. So uh, this is going to be something that we're going to have to monitor as we go through the day today and really over the next couple of days. Take a look at some of these rainfall totals. So I'm just kind of updating these with the uh, newest information that I have this morning and uh, you can see that close to 30 inch report uh, northeast of Asheville and then in, all the way up toward Boone even picking up um, about 14 and a half inches of rain. So really, really catastrophic rain totals across this area and this is uh, unfortunately something that we're going to be dealing with uh, for days to come as that water continues to filter down the uh, mountains and into the um, water waterways there in the Catawba River watershed. Taking a look at rainfall stats, picking up about 9.4 inches of rain so far this month in Charlotte. That puts us about six inches above average and also the fifth wettest September ever recorded. 45 inches for the year, about a foot above average. Flash flood warning still in effect. A couple of these will expire at eight o'clock, a couple of these at nine o'clock this morning. These are the ones that are not going to expire uh, right along the Catawba River, Alexander, Catawba and Iredale counties underneath that flash flood warning until eight o'clock this evening. And that's because river levels are going to continue to rise across these areas. Uh, Lake Norman down through Mountain Island Lake into the Catawba River there as it crosses 85 and Wilkinson Boulevard underneath that flash flood warning until nine o'clock tonight. Because again, that water is just going to continue to flow downstream. Rain chance is pretty low over the next couple of days, thankfully. Well, look at these wind gusts, just kind of updating these with new data coming in. Uh, 106 mile an hour wind gust, preliminary wind gust reported in Mount Mitchell at 106 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour at the Charlotte Douglas Airport. Still dealing with a little bit of wind this morning and into the afternoon with those gusts up to 20 to 25 miles an hour. We'll take you out to Midtown. You can see the sun coming up. Not much in the way of cloud cover across the area. 65 in Charlotte, 63 in Rock Hill, Monroe at 65 degrees. Temperatures much cooler than yesterday, running anywhere from 10 to 16 degrees cooler on average across the Piedmont. This weekend going to continue to be pretty nice. We'll top out at 82 for today, 81 for tomorrow with the Panthers game. We'll see times of sunshine and times of cloud cover. An isolated shower not out of the question. Panthers taking on the Bengals. If you're heading to the game, an isolated shower not out of the question, but things pretty quiet. Keeping a close eye on the golf. Medium chance of development over the next seven days right along the Yucatan Peninsula. Very similar place that Helene developed. 82 and um, on Monday here in Charlotte and then upper 70s as we head toward Thursday and Friday. Now you're up to date with the latest First Alert forecast.